ton of height. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Penguins get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Oh, look at that! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Crosby's got that beauty backhand zone ability, guys. That backhand shot is hard for the goalies to track, and he uses that to score. Crosby's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Great reach with the poke check. Denies him in close. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Just a simple pass save made by Gibson. The Ducks have it now. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. From the top of the offensive zone here. And that goes wide of everything. The Ducks take it along the wall. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Centering feed! And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Puck grab by Drysdale. The Ducks cross the blue line and are on the attack. On the backhand! Stopped by the goaltender. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he comes up with a stop there. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Gets it over to Smith. The Penguins move to the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. Back to the point it goes. Gibson's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Scooped up along the wall by Kalor. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Puck picked up by Smith. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Oh, wow, what a bad save. He scores! He put it into his own net. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. Pittsburgh's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough here at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. they got to continue to execute if they want to wind up with a W at the end of this one. And now he moves it quickly to Carlson. Quick stop by Gibson. Here's a short pass to McGinn. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Carter's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends a pass over. Quick pass to Pedersen. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. 
takes the feed. From the right side, they gain the zone. Great read with the stick. Moves it to O'Connor. A feed in front, and that's stopped. And the puck's booted away. Kalorn stick handling in his own zone. They've got numbers here. Jostled off the puck. Quick feed to Strom. And it's a quick pass to Kalorn. And he takes a shot, and that's blocked in traffic. Taken by Gensel. Great use of the stick at center by Fowler. The Ducks gain possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. And he slides it quickly to Fowler. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. He's got a step, makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Pittsburgh's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. And now it's grabbed by Graves. Oh, he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Getting into the later stages of this period. Pittsburgh's up one zip. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Puts it in deep. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Shot! Big stop! Just as time expires in the period. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Ducks find themselves in a close game here, only trailing by one. It could have been much worse because they didn't manage the puck at all. They didn't look connected either, James. They got to get talking if they want to shore that up and look to go the other direction. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Crosby. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Moves it quickly over to Graves. And that's knocked away by Raquel. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Pittsburgh's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. McTavish has won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big save. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Oh, they're dropping the mids. Here we go. Well, the game got physical with that big hit. This is a challenge. Why not continue? Gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Coming off a heated battle like that, it's important to allow those emotions to just simmer so they can cool off in the penalty box for five minutes, get some rest and some water. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the faceoff. The Ducks take control of the faceoff. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself. There is the score! Johnny on the spot, he tucks in the rebound. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. 
Pittsburgh's taken a 2-0 lead here in the second. It's been a real dominant performance tonight, and they've just thrown everything at the net. I think players want to pad their stats as they've been peppering the goalie. Here's a short pass to Strome. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Lundstrom. Fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Hag. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Henrique. That's denied by the goaltender. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And they continue to apply pressure here. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Penguins have it against the wall. Picked off. Moves it to Terry. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Latang. Keeps possession on the play. Great forecheck by Fowler. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Penguins lead this one to zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Down the right side and into the zone. Here's a shot and he stops that with the blocker. Gibson's giving his team an opportunity to stay in the game. One save after another. He has to been under siege. I mean, his save percentage says it all. They have to shore up their defense and stop chasing the game. The Penguins are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, more goals, and a lead in the second. Pittsburgh's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Lacombe. Anaheim's looking to break out. Pittsburgh's got it now. And there's the save on the play. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the late goings of the period, 2-0 is where we sit. Anaheim's got it in the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Turned aside with the glove by Gibson. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Pittsburgh's offense has been in full effect tonight as they continue to lead late in this second period. Quick feed to O'Connor. Official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. And their first chance to use the man advantage. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. McTavish is ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Pittsburgh's got the win off that draw. Slides the puck ahead to Fowler. Moves it over to Henrique. The Ducks played along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Fowler. Oh, what a stop with the glove by Chari. O'Connor's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. 
Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. One time blast. And he gets all on that one as it was teed up with the slapper, but he turns it aside. Picked up along the wall by Terry. And the middle frame almost done. And that carries off a body in traffic. Penalty coming up here. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. The Ducks will get a small sample size of a five on three. Anaheim's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Good read with the stick to break that up. Here's a short pass to Carlson. That brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Pittsburgh's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. To his teammate! And that's intercepted by Achari. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Quick pass to McTavish. He carries the puck up along the wing. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Pedersen standing up, ready to go. Tries to feed it over to McTavish. The Penguins are back to even strength here. Well, PK can be put back on their heels, and I felt like this group was on their toes. They knew exactly how to protect this lead and really create some energy for their team. Passes it to Pedersen. Quick pass to Crosby. Moves the puck along the half wall. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Ducks are getting penalized for slashing. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Gains the zone. Moves it to Carrick. Tremendous save by Curry. Carrick's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. From the left side, they gain the zone. Johnson for the puck, and it's knocked away. Takes the feed from the left side. Raquel's got it in the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Great poke by Malkin. Now a quick pass to Gudis. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Here's a chance! And that goes off a player in front. Heads to the back of the net. Anaheim's back to even strength. Scores! Make it three in a row, and they're humming now. Well, they certainly are. Three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. 
Pittsburgh's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Gives them nothing in front. Russ back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box, as sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Pittsburgh's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Quick feed to Terry. Referee signaling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. Latang's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. The Ducks send their man advantage unit out once more. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Moves it quickly over to Eller. Takes the pass. The Ducks have it from their own end. Takes the shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Gibson. You know the goalie dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Chari. McTavish is ready to take the draw here on this power play. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Slick feed. Here's a short pass to Henrique. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Wow, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. Achari's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And off the draw, they win possession. And the puck leaves the zone. Achari's got it in the defensive end. Ten seconds the Kings penalty is almost expired. But Toronto's got the puck along the wing. Pittsburgh's back to even strength as they've killed off the penalty. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Moves it to Graves. Puts it on net. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And does it again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Puck moved over to Kalorn. Quick pass to Matrano. Oh, what a save in front. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blown, stopping the play. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Takes the feed at the point. No room for that one to get through. Stopped by the goaltender. Moves it to Henrique. What pressure here in the offensive end. And look at this puck movement here in the offensive end. Defenders come away with it. Looking to clear from the road end. Eller's 
recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Works it across to Nieto. The Penguins will play it against the wall. Moves the puck across to Henrique. Takes a shot. Great save. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Well, sure, I'm not surprised this is about to go down here. Yeah, we've watched the first two periods, and now late in the game, these tempers have flared, and this is why they're going head-to-head. Oh, I know a lot of people love watching these, but hopefully nobody's hurt here, seriously. Yeah, that's tough to watch, especially taking that last punch. It was decisive, and he went down hard. You could just feel this coming, couldn't you, James? I mean, this is a blowout game. It is over, and that fight is a result of the frustration. Well, with the chaos cleared, face-off now for both teams. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. Hammers it on net. Oh, great glove save. Where'd that come from? The Penguins have had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized, and look at the score as a result. Puck scooped up by Fowler. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. And that pass attempt is deflected. And now he tries to get it across to Rust. Puck grabbed by Malkin. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. Looks to pass it to Rust. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Great save by Chari. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Penguins have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Off the face-off, they take the puck. Gessel's got the puck in his own zone. The Penguins are in transition. Shoot it! Shoot it! Pass! And that doesn't connect. And not only with the W, he also gets the shutout in this one, Cheryl. Strong effort defensively. Well, a great effort, and he was the last line of defense and really tracked well. And in particular, he anticipated the play, made some great reads. And what about his rebound control? Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either. So we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.